Monster and Taz Podcast Part 2, Gender War. All right. Where we left off at, it was my time to come up with my pet peeve. So I'm going to come up with one pet peeve that you know everybody think about. Ain't nobody said nothing. So I'm like this. How long do you think it's appropriate to make a guy wait? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. One month, <laughs> two months, three months. That's a damn good question months. right there, buddy. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. If you don't ask people, we can do it right after we lock eyes if that's there. Uh, you know, that whole bait, I guess I don't get it. You know, I, I hold back, especially if you're going to be safe. That's the only thing. At my age, I do that I wouldn't care about that. Oh, she effed on the stage. Wanted to do that? That a bit much. Hello? Is that, okay, is yeah. that a question you asked? Yeah, so I think that that could be, you know, the female's perspective on just that, because you know, we don't we don't make them wait. So, Luna, how do you? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't I ain't gonna make you What's wait, baby. Timeline? It's a simple question because everybody <laughs> think about it. There's a reason a man wants to talk to a woman, and why a woman wants to talk to a man. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. So, how long is it appropriate to wait? I mean, sometimes there is no wait. Sometimes you just fuck like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> How your, your fire is with each other. But on the flip side, I've made people you wait six months. Somebody else hook up like that? Look, I've made somebody wait six months before just to see how long they put out. Man, I would. Or grow- just to see how long they, they kept chasing. I would. Grow, I would. You make me wait that long. I'm going to grow some fangs. Yeah, just, like just give him that little one two tease real quick. Oh, hell you know, no. Keep him- <laughs> just hell him no. Right? You it's like that. I'll be hollering so, at look, the moon waiting that long. Depending on who it is and how how connected we are, you know, it can be, you know, like she said, that night. <laughs> you never know. I think that's more of something. They're like our age, yeah, and, and there's they still care care about a time frame. No, it's just a general question. What do you think is appropriate? Because you know, some guys they might say, Hey, it's a month, if we had the right vibes, a month, or it could be the same day, like you say. Yeah, so what do you think really is appropriate? You should go with it. I don't think it's. If you're really feeling stuff, you gotta be in. I missed out. Oh my. <laughs> I, I'm gonna piggyback on that monster comment because I think that I think what he's probably thinking about maybe is, you know, a dude maybe into the to the female i mean really into it like you're saying she turned you know he on he look at her it's like boom but if he makes that move and she wasn't ready it's bad this could be bad yeah it, I mean, a, bad. A, a, you know what I, my input on that is on the on the flip side of that you know uh it kind i don't know i can't speak for every guy but it kind of make me feel some type of way if it's too easy to <laughs> it really does cuz i've had a scenario where it was a chick uh and we we only really have been talking like a handful of times and i'm not even talking about not even over the course of 4 days when uh she was talking about uh yeah, i'm gonna i'm gonna cut my hair and i'm like oh you going to cut that long pretty hair and she was like yeah you ain't even get a chance to pull it yet so i was like 
I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, damn, you're not making this too hard, are you? You know, it's, I don't know, I don't know. Like I say, I can't think for every guy, think about every guy, but you know, for some guys, when it's too motherfucking easy, you know, it. Eh. Are oh, you talking about that BBD thing? I thought it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know, so on that's that's on the other side. I just had to put that out there because it was the way I feel, you know. Sometimes when it's too easy, it's too easy. A little bit louder, see, love. I said I can agree with that. I I think cat and mouse is a very popular game. Yeah, yeah, it it definitely is, and you know, I guess this is a part of the, you know the whole game between us as males and you guys as females. You know, it's it's certain things that go on you know it's certain things we expect of each other and certain things that we want from each other i mean i mean i understand that you know <clears throat> um sex is just as important to you guys with some of you guys as it is to us you know but uh my question is you know as far as you know you two guys go is it one of the most important things for stability Luna, you can answer that if you want. No, oh, it's not. I can go without sex. Mm. And it's one of those things that if you can't fuck my mind before you fuck my body, what's what's the point of fucking for them? Oh, that's real shit. That's yeah. real shit. Yeah. It shows me if we're bored. I like the and way I'm over... she said that. Yeah. <laughs> if we're bored and I'm over here overthinking and the first thing that you think of is, oh, let's fuck. No, how about we, you know, we go outside, fucking shoot each other with nerf guns or fucking go nerfing or something, like something. I, I hear you. I don't know. Just be like, Some okay, I'm just going to legs. Some kind of activity. Yeah, and you know, when you, when you bring something, when you bring something to the table, like when you meet somebody, right? And you enjoy their company. You enjoy the way they speaking. You you enjoy the way what they're what they're speaking about. You know that's another way of mind fucking somebody. Like you know when you when you just just present every word that you say in a a, a certain fashion, and they just can feel that. And it, it, that's another way. Remember when I said earlier about attraction? How attraction can go, grow from what they do for you or do to you, it also can grow from what they say to you as well. Mm -hmm. Their dialogue. So that's a good point, Luna. That's that's actually a good point. Yeah, that really was a good point. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I didn't think about that. You gotta do my mind first. Mm -hmm. That was serious. Any other uh, things you wanna put out there, Monster, for us to answer? <laughs> answer. Uh, what was one thing uh, that, that I uh, really if I had one thing I could do over is one thing a lot of people do they don't take relationships serious and sometimes they miss out on the phone remember I had someone it's just a friend just saying something to me that pretty much made me sit and think like I really don't know how to answer this about hurting. Mm. And the sad part was, it could have been more, but if you not connected, it ain't gonna work. And my opinion for this whole situation is, what do you think about a friend? That you know should be your boyfriend. Oh shit! Touchy, touchy, touchy. Well, I mean, I know that's a, a, a direct question towards the women, but you know, supporting that. How do y'all feel about that? You know, I just, I just see you as a brother, you know. And then later on down the line, you you change your mind about that. But then the other guy, the guy's like. Well, damn, you know, all this time I liked you and you, you, 
you know, now you're changing your mind, and now I feel a certain way, and it's not going to go in that direction. <laughs> How do you, you know? Remember Brown Sugar? Exactly. Good example. I watched it recently, and I was like, damn, all that time they was around each other, friends, cool. Knew each other dreams, knew how to react to certain situations. Mm -hmm. Come on. Y'all should have been together. I've been in that circumstance a couple times. Yeah, but <clears throat> they just, they don't be feeling it. So all it's right, all about timing to you. It's all about yeah. timing to you then, right? Well, it can be, it can be, you know, perfect person, but the wrong time for me. Like, like I said, with what my situation is, you can be the perfect fucking person for me, but right now it's just the wrong time because I can't reciprocate what you're trying to give me. I can respect. I can't that. give you what you want out of it. I can respect that, but I want to paint a scenario for you, though. Okay, so you close to this guy, it's not the time for you, and I respect that. But man, what if it come a time where you did have feelings for the guy, and it wasn't time enough for you, but his time was up something bad happened you never got to see this guy again because i'm not trying to put the direct scenario out there but you get what i'm saying how would you feel about that he's gone from his earth you never got to show him or tell him how you really felt because of your timing how would you feel about that it would hurt me more and damage me more because you know just because i wasn't ready like I would still try to like I would I would express my feelings and let them know how I feel like yeah I do love you I do want to be with you you know mentally I can't do that like I would let them know how I feel cuz I wouldn't like you said I wouldn't just want them to you know anything bad happen to them knock on wood you know I would want them to know how I feel but no also know like if you respect me enough to know that I'm not ready mm -hmm. you know that makes me respect you and then end up possibly wanting you more at the fact that okay you do respect it you know maybe it's worth a shot how you feel about it chill well you know uh kind of piggyback on what the monster was saying I, you know i've been in those crazy circumstances where you know your friends like i would hook up the the female as a friend with a dude with you know one of my friends you know what i mean mm -hmm. but then that's happened to me two times I hook her up with one of the friends, then after they break up, she like want to be with me. I'm like, well, she I, I like you from the start. I said, well, why you wait? Why you let me hook you up with one of the friends? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have to be two guys. You know, they they act like they really interested. But why come you can't just come out and say you were interested instead of let me hook you up with the friend? Mm -hmm. See what a lot of people don't, don't really. I'm sorry. I said, closed mouths don't get fed. That's right. You know, I, re I, I, I say this a lot, and I'm going to say it again. One thing we cannot get back is time. Okay? You know, you might not be ready for a situation. That's very, very respectable because there's a saying, and that saying goes, a fool will rush in where a wise man fears to go. And this person, wise person, fears to go. So I get that, but damn man, you know, when that person is gone or <sighs> it make you think, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah. You never mm -hmm. know what you got until it's gone. I'm trying to tell you. So let me look here. Okay, so we got, uh, we got a couple more minutes. Uh, okay, so monster, go ahead. I'm gonna let you do your thing, man. Go ahead and, um, Go from here. Anything else you want to um put out there? I'm pretty sure some questions going around in that head of yours. Some other questions. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. All right, uh, a pet peeve. Another thing that I hate. I really hate this. I hate the actually. Uh, I haven't had this happen a lot. I would hate to actually hook up with somebody I think I can help. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, let's go out to eat. No. Oh, let's go to this spot. They got uh, drinks and uh, food. No. 
Because every time you go out, you you know, you're spending a boatload. <laughs> I'm going out three, four times a week. But if she pays? I still don't want to go out three, four times a week. Okay. <laughs> I work a lot. Yeah, you know. I got you on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. You know, going out, uh-uh. I mean, I'm about to make money, spend. yeah, I, I agree with that. That, 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 you know, I'm not a totally cheap guy or whatnot, but I don't feel like it's necessary to go out three, three, four times a week. I mean, exactly. you know, if we, if we go on vacation together, you know, yeah, you oh, know, we can do given. something. We can it. Yeah, we can go to a couple of restaurants, a couple of bars, a couple of restaurants, you know, and, and, you know, hang out and shit like that. Yeah, you know, I get it. But, you know, on a regular basis, that can be costly. I hate to sound like a, a cheap dude, but, I mean, you it can be costly. You done spent like $400, man, like. Man, listen. Man. But see, that brings us back to. I'm sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. That's hell to me. Yeah. You know that that just bring us back to you know if I guess under certain other different circumstances like what we talked about earlier about you know how the lady said oh well I'll pay and this and that and then we'll pay and you know that could, I could see that being feasible but you gotta still feel like that's what it is for you that's what you like to do yeah we'll go out three or four times you gotta still feel like you gotta have an attitude to want to go out plus the attitude to want to spend or if you can handle spending. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a mixture of the two. And yep. again, it, it goes back to finding the right mate. Uh, because if if your goal is making money, spending less, then you can't date or marry a shopaholic that doesn't work. So no matter what the connection or the attraction is, that's, uh, what do they say, a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Y'all do like to shop. <laughs> 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 and I don't know about y'all, but when I go to the spot, I go to get, but I came to get, and I'm going to the register. Everything else is invisible. You know what? I guess I'm a different type of male, but I'm going to let you go ahead and chill. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'd probably be the guilty party of me too. Out. Cause uh, you know, I sometimes eat out twice a day. I have to apologize on that. Uh, so, um, yeah, hey, you know, I could cook though. Trust me, I you know I ran I ran a restaurant. So, oh, that's what's up. I, I've actually uh, actually met somebody one time. Don't get me wrong, she was drop dead gorgeous. Mm. But the more she talked, and then she said something that I said, oh, not gonna work. She said, <laughs> she said, I need to be able to take her out at least three, four times a week. Ooh. I immediately need the fuck out. <laughs> Bruh, I think we all got a story like that. <laughs> you know, I, I had met this female. So I'm sorry. <laughs> you, Go go ahead and go. I want. I have a question after though. I'm gonna make it sh short and sweet so we can get to your question. Yeah, I met a female. You know, uh, just this again caters to you know outside versus inside. I met a female man. She was fine as the oldest bottle of wine. You know, when I met her, uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of got the vibe from her that you know she was kind of on the arrogant side, but it was cool. So I, I, I came over there. We we talking and this and that then you know the the first time that we had went out i had went over her house and she had a lot of nice shit and the long story short i'm like you got a lot of nice things here I, hey i respect your craft you know your artistic value i respect all that she was like oh yeah uh, guys buy me shit all the time you know you you're gonna be buying me stuff too and i thought she was joking at first but she was serious and like you said it just click turned me off so But go ahead with your question, Luna. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, <laughs> so, in my perspective, 
Hold on, give me one second. Hey, one okay. thing I, I want apologize. to say was uh, me making that comment. It wasn't what she said. This was my first time meeting her. And before I even walked up to her, I said, how you doing? My name is such and such. She said, oh, such and such friend. And made that statement. I was looking like, got to be playing. Mm-hmm. Because even though somebody has kids, I'm not t- trying to discourage anybody that has, had, that has children. But even before I could go there to try and make a bond, to build some possibly he just flicked me up. Hmm. You went out. You went out, monster. I, I'll edit that out. I ain't, I ain't really too much press about it. You still there? I am. Yeah, we we yeah, all we, still here. We just waiting on you know them or whatnot. Okay, can you hear? Us? Yeah, we. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to do some um some sound magic on this one. <laughs> it's okay though. It'll give me something to do before I post a video. That's like if he's if he, can y'all hear me? Yes, I hear you good. Luna, she's still here. We was waiting on you. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Go ahead, I'm Luna. You was you was about to I'm here the whole time. Okay, Luna, you was about to uh, say something, uh, ask a question. You you remember what it was? Yeah. Fire away. So, I know on my behalf, if I'm with somebody and I have a long term relationship with them, for me, if you cheat on me, the attraction there to you sexually, I don't want to put out anymore. Is that the thing? I'm serious. Like if no, you're gonna cheat on me. She said, well, I, she don't mean you cut off. Done. Like, I, I don't know if that's the same for everyone else. Like, cause it makes me unattracted to you. Like, and I, I'm going to sit there and try to work it out. But, you know, you have to understand, like, that attraction, you have to work up to get to that again. Is that the same for men? Is that the same for some Absolutely. other women? Like, Absolutely. You know, it's... Right. Question. When you you Very know good. when you when you turned off by somebody that's some something that they do, I mean it co- it goes hand in hand with with the attitude that you have for the situation in that person. They do something really really like if somebody was to do you know God forbid me I mean I'm sorry God forgive me for saying this if somebody was to do something where it disgusts you like let's just say. They did something really nasty to their lips. Would you want to kiss them? No. Uh, if they did something disgusting in another place, would you want to do anything with them? No. So it's like if they cheat on you, it's a turn off, right? Mm-hmm. It's a turn off. You got anything mm-hmm. to add, uh, Monster C? Yeah. How everybody feel about being with somebody after you know they cheated? Uh, chill, go ahead. Uh, I don't. It, it makes it hard for me to continue because, uh, you know, first of all, if it's a, if it's a one on, if we are in a relationship, it's one on one. You know, you you my queen, I'm your king. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. And uh, I can't imagine somebody else, you know, being with you like that. It. So it's gonna be messing with my mind at that point going forward. So I have a little reservations at that point. 
because you know I'm trying to figure out why you, you know what made you because in your mind you're like what'd you do what did I do wrong what, do I, what was I not doing to make you want to creep see love Once I discovered cheating in my marriage, um, I just, I didn't stop, uh, but it turned uh, the whole sexual experience from something I enjoyed and participated in um, to something that I just felt was a... Ugh. You know, I think... And I, did, I didn't enjoy sex for most of my life wow that's that's something right there that's the seal yeah that's something it, right it, there it's it's okay you know i <laughs> i got to say that i really Good dog, right? yeah. oh, okay. i got to say i really feel some type of way to everybody who's had those type of things happen to them you trust this person um, then they go off and do they want to and either they tell you about it or they don't and you find out later it's just nobody should have to go through that shit but you know what it's it's reality it's what happens it's, it's this is what makes us the pe the people that we are to this day because of shit like this happening constantly to the point where we be like you know what it don't surprise me anymore I'm sorry do we have time for me to share just one personal short story? Yeah, this, this, we got to wrap it up after this. Okay. Um, it was um, my seventh seven. wedding anniversary. And uh, we're in Detroit, my husband and I. And he's explaining to me how I'm his best friend. And I'm just so cool. I get that all the time. My male friends and my female. I'm like, really not hard to deal with. But he's like, because we're best friends, and this is our seven-year anniversary, you know, I just want to share something. Oh, I, I hate to admit it, but I haven't been faithful to you this whole time. And I just thought you was my friend enough for me to admit that to. So, you know, his level of mind games was off the chain. Um, so it was just the start of planting the seed into, I'm going to do what I'm going to do and you're going to do um, So I just kind of wanted to add that because some people just like the ability to put their thumb on your forehead and, and watch you try to, you know, move forward when, when they know you really can't. It's crazy. Mm. All right. So, you know, before we wrap it up, um, I just, you know, sharing you guys, you guys sharing your experiences and things of that, you know, they're, they're like, damn, you know, I'm, we, we develop, we all human. So we develop, um, you know, sympathy and, you know, relation relating to your scenarios and stuff like that. So with the closing of the show, um, would anybody like to add any reflection on what you've been through? We can go one at a time. And I'm really, really curious to know any kind of reflection that you've learned from your past relationships, them burning you, and you understand what you need to do to go forward at this point. Monster, let's start with you. I learned through the ups and downs going through relationships, no matter what, care about yourself in the end. Because at the end, especially if you was the one that got hurt, that's all you got to worry about. See, love. Reflections. My reflection would be when someone shows you they really are, leave them and act accordingly. Chill reflections. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. You know, in the past, you know, you you tend to let people do you wrong, and you always give them a you know second, third, fourth, fifth chance. I think going forward, you know, once I'm done wrong the first time, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, 
I'm not going to let this continue. I'm done. That's just the way I look at it. Luna, reflections. I would say probably not opening up to <clears throat> oh, what was the last part? We didn't hear you. I apologize. It said it was reconnecting, but I would say not opening up to people because some people will end up using your past against you and seeing testing the boundaries to see if they can do the same thing and you'll stick around sony it's 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 what i have to say about it is i developed such a coldness you know which is a stereotype because you know what i i know all women you know aren't the way one presents themselves to you just like all men are the same the way one presents themselves to you guys i i i have two sayings that i said to my ex and you know it made me reflect on how to go forward and the first saying i told her was you know you stabbed me in the heart with a rusty knife and it hurt really bad the second thing I said to her was, don't pull a knife out my back too fast because I might bleed to death. And all I'm going to say in, in conclusion to how I feel about the situation is, I'm just going to go forward. I'm probably going to be one of them people that's going to end up by myself. And you know what? I'm okay with that. So I would like to thank everybody who came out and share their experiences with the opposite sex their reflections on how they're going to go forward with the opposite sex and most of all i'd like to thank you guys for your time yes like share and subscribe